Welcome to another episode of Old Snailox Workshop. A rip saw is designed to cut like a chisel. Each tooth takes a bite. And cuts across the end grain. Like so. Because of the way the cells in a tree grow, I'm slicing across the end of all of those tubes. And that lets the chisel chop out the end grain. Now a rip saw can cut, but it has one problem. Since it doesn't have any way to score as it cuts, it tears. So you end up with a really ragged edge. Rip saws can cut cross grain. They do separate the grain and break it apart and make the board into two pieces. But like this chisel, the cut's not very smooth. If I were to take a square and a knife blade and cut one slice, and another cut just the width of the chisel blade, Then when I cut across, the chisel can pop out that chunk. chisel can then go through and clean out the wood in between and you leave the edges of the cut square and straight. So, when I'm sharpening this big crosscut saw, I'm going to sharpen the pointed crosscut teeth, describe the lines, and the rip saw teeth are going to go through and clean out the groove in between them. Old Snealock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, Please take a moment and click the thumbs up.